Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video. Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the exponential function, exponential equation, and exponential inequality. This video is part of our series na dinidiscuss natin with regard to the general mathematics first quarter. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So ang target natin ngayon guys is to define what is exponential function, exponential equation, and exponential inequality. And later on, I have here different examples of these mathematical equations or sentences and we will determine calling sa mga to ang exponential function, equation, and inequality. Now let's start with the definition of exponential function. When you say exponential function, it is a function involving exponential expressions in the basic and the criteria showing a relationship between the independent variable x and dependent variable y or f of x. Now guys, um, hindi naman siya nalang kahira kasi we are done with the rational equation, function, and inequality. Now, pag sinabi natin exponential function, sabi dito, unang criteria, it has exponential expressions. Now, sir, hindi pa rin po namin may makuha yung ano niya, kahit sa mismong lessons namin. Guys, ano lang siya? Basta may yung, uh, pag may equal sign, dalawa lang ang choices nyo. It's either exponential function and exponential equation. So, ano yung difference ng exponential function? Pag sinabi natin exponential function, since meron tayong word of function, meron tayong tinatawag na input at output. Na kung saan, dito sa definition natin, yung input natin is the, variab is the independent variable, ito yung variable x natin, and the output is your dependent variable o yung tinatawag natin y. Another thing, kapag meron kayo nakita ganito, yung variable y at yung ating f of x. Remember, sa function natin, meron tayong input or variable y in which ang ating function notation, it started with f of x or pwede naman h of x or g of x. Basta, y is equal to f of x. Later on, I will give examples of it. Next, let's move on with the next one. Hindi tawag natin exponential equation. Now, for the exponential equation, sabi sa definition, is an equation involving exponential expression that can be solved for all x values satisfying the equation. Now, uh, madali naman to guys, meron tayong exponential expressions that are separated by equal sign. Pag nakita nyo to, yung equal sign nito, at wala siyang y or f of x, automatically, that is an exponential equation. Next, we have exponential inequality. It's an equality involving exponential expressions. Lahat yan merong exponential expressions, yung notations lang at yung symbols yung pinagkaiba nila. And then, that can be solved for all x values satisfying the inequality. So, ano yung magiging parang dito? Parang uh, distinction between these three. Pag sinabi natin exponential inequality, gumagamit siya ng inequality symbols. So most likely may encounter nyo ay greater than symbol, less than symbol, greater than or equal, tapos less than or equal. At para ma-realize nyo yung mga tinutukoy ko about our definition, yung symbols, pati yung notation, let's have this activity. Classify each exponential expression into exponential function, equation, or inequality. Let's have number one. For number one, it is read as 3 raised to 2x is equal to 81. Again, 3 raised to 2x is equal to 81. Sir, ano po siya? Is it a function, equation, or inequality? So, kung hindi pa agad siya makita or uh, malaman agad na ay function yan, ay equation yan, ay inequality yan, mag-elimination method ka. Una, 
gumagamit ba siya ng inequality symbol? Hindi. Di ba? So, wala na ngayon yung inequality sa mga choices mo. Since meron kang equal sign, ang pagpipili naman nila ay exponential function. It's either exponential function or exponential equation. But remember, kung sinabi natin exponential function, it will start with the variable y or the f of x notation. Since wala tayong variable y or f of x notation, automatically guys, this example falls under exponential equation. Okay? Now let's move on with item number 2. We have x raised to 5 or x raised to the 5th power less than 15x cubed. Ngayon, ito na. Ito na yung defining factor natin, guys. We can easily distinguish if the given exponential expression is an inequality equation or function. Since gamit tayo ito ng less than symbol, that is an inequality, sim inequality symbol, automatic, guys, this one, yung number 2 na natin, will fall under exponential inequality. Yeah. Okay? Now let's move on with number 3. For number 3, we have f of x is equal to 2x cubed. Yeah. Kitang kita agad na this one is under exponential function. Exponential function. And now, sir, hindi ko po gets bakit po siya exponential function. Guys, meron tayong function notation, which is f of x. So, since function notation siya, isipin mo na exponential function yan. Let's move on to number 4. For number 4, we have 625 is equal to 5 raised to x plus 8. Okay? Wala tayong inequality symbol. Wala tayong variable y or function notation f of x. Automatic, guys, f to i under ng exponential equation. Now, mag-end na ako dito for num from numbers 1 hanggang 4. Ang maging activity nyo or maging task nyo ngayon is to answer number 5. We have x, sorry, h of x, again, h of x is equal to 2 raised to x. And comment down below kung ano magiging sagot mo if item number 5 ay under ba ng exponential function, exponential equation, and exponential inequality. Para makita ko kung natuto ba kayo sa mismong video natin. Now guys, um, abangan nyo lang yung mga next video natin with regard to exponential equation, function, and inequality kasi Yung mga next video natin ay we will solve uh, some, some problems about this topic guys. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gong. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!